and welcome to another exciting video on this one we'll be learning how we can configure fauna to authenticate with auth0 or auth0 in a next gs application so what i've done over here is i am under database rules and i'm creating a new role and you can reach this by clicking on the security menu over here and then you'll be taken to create new role i've provided the role name as authorization role under collections you can see we have shop and product Let's select product and give this read, write, create, and delete. Basically, we are trying to provide the CRUD permissions to these two collections. Now, here we don't have any indexes available or functions. And then we'll just click on this save button. And this is going to create our authorization role. After that, we'll be going to database providers. And here we'll be clicking on this add new provider. And we'll be giving a new name. To this over here let's call it as auth0 provider and the value of issuer that we are seeing over here we can retrieve this by visiting our code here we have our auth base auth issuer base url we'll be copying this particular one and we'll be heading over to our issuer and we'll be completing it by appending this forward slash and then we'll have to specify the jwks endpoint and the jwks endpoint also starts with the same url so we'll have this and then we'll be saying dot well known and after that we'll have jwks dot json so that's the url we'll also be copying this audience over here and we'll be selecting the role that we created click on save so that's the fauna part of it now we'll head over to auth0 and here we'll be logging in so let's click on login i'll be going ahead with github and under applications we'll be going to apis and over here we'll be clicking on create api and we'll be providing a name over here auth0 fauna db the identifier is the link that we copied and once we have this in place you can go ahead and click on create and this basically creates the api for us and over here in our env.local file i've also created a variable auth audience and i have pasted the same link over here as well now in the next one we'll be learning how we can make use of the api that we have created in order to establish a connection between fauna and auth or auth zero